come on in and welcome to my home. Today we are making a peanut butter pie. This is using the uh, pretzel pie crust that we made before. You can click the eye on the sky for the day where we make the pie crust. It is so simple and so good, you will absolutely love this. I mean, it's just an easy recipe that you can do. Let's make our filling for our peanut butter pie, and this one gets wild, and I mean pretty wild. We are going to take a half a cup of our PB2. If you do not have PB2, you're gonna to have to skip part of this, and I'll tell you what part. But this is our PB2, put that in there. And then a quarter of a cup of our peanut butter vodka. Now, if you do not have PB2 and you are just using regular uh, peanut butter, skip both of those. It's just a half a cup of peanut butter. All right, now, the important things. I have one block of softened cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar. Let's mix those together. Then we are going to add one tub of whipped topping. Now, a lot of you are saying, but I thought you mainly use natural stuff. I do. The problem with this is it is hard to get a natural uh, whipped topping, like whipped cream, that sort of stuff, which will hold as well as this will. Remember to scrape. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I've been eating this as I've been making it. I mean, it's 100% honest. It is really good, and I mean really good. All right, let's take our pan. We will scrape all that on there. Then just evenly spread this out. Once this is evenly spread out, you're gonna put it into the freezer to set up. Our cake has firmed up. I'm just going to take a knife and gently run it around the edge. And then, because this is a spring form pan, and this is why I love spring form pans, I don't know why more people don't love spring form pans. Now we have our pie all ready. I'm gonna slice it. I'm just gonna cut a thin piece. All right, let's give our pie a taste. If you want something that's peanut butter, sweet and salty, this is the thing for you. That is a delicious pie. So easy to make, took almost no time, and it tastes so good. It is one of those recipes that you can just do on the fly. Like I said, if you do not have the peanut butter vodka and dehydrated peanut butter, you can just substitute regular peanut butter. It's delicious. I highly recommend this one. This is going to be one of those great treats for those hot summer days, which are going to be upon us in no time. Remember to keep it frozen. It is a frozen pie, so it will thaw out, but it is so good. If you make this, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Tuesday is going to now be a recipe, and I hope that you enjoy these things. And like always, remember, why buy it when you can make it yourself?